Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the Correct Views, part three out of five. Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Each story gets dumber all the way up until we have the winner. And if you've been listening so far, you're probably thinking, how in the hell could it get any dumber than it already has been? And this is from the week. The U.S. will provide economic aid to the Taliban? White House remains evasive on the subject. Now, for those of you that don't use the thinking part of your brain, which I always suggest doing, let me clarify. Uh, for those of you maybe that weren't alive when 9-11 took place, or very young, or, you know, whatever. The Taliban gave safe passage and safe haven in some instances to the people who caused and or celebrated and or supported 9-11. But the Saudis were involved. In, yeah, I'm sure they were. The Taliban was still definitely involved in one of the three ways that I just said in the bombing of the Twin Towers. No, I don't think they did it totally by themselves, and no, I don't totally buy the official line, but what I just told you is definitely a correct view, which is why you're hitting share and subscribe, which helps me amazing. With that in mind, along with the other atrocities, atrocities such as beheading Christians, killing teachers, and the bloodshed that we have seen, mailing women as a bride's in caskets. You can find that on The Correct Views on my page. Go to Opera, The Correct Views, YouTube. You can find it sourced. That's this Taliban. Our very president might give them money. Now here's what this boils down to before I read the, before I read the, the clam here. Let me go ahead and boil this down. We have Americans behind enemy lines and it may or may not have been on purpose, that's for another show, in order to at least, if nothing else, save face. The, the Taliban is going to want some moolah in order to let our people out, which is one of the reasons they've murdered so many, so that they can in, instill fill, fear and then get money from the Americans. You can see where this is going. Well, if Biden... Harris or whoever is pulling the strings gets their way on this, that's going to be extremely unpopular with the American people. However, it's aid. We're just giving aid to those left behind. Aid my ass. They absolutely know that this money is going to be taken. Given, or taken by, not given anybody, taken by the terrorists as soon as the plane touches down, pretty much. That way you can pay to have the hostages released without looking as though you paid for hostages to be released. Now that I've spelled out what they don't want to spell out, let's take a look at this here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight again the, uh, the screen for you. On Tuesday, <clears throat> United States National Security Advisor Jack, Jake Sullivan remained cautiously evasive when asked whether the U.S. would send economic aid to the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. <clears throat> Quote, We are going to wait and see by their actions, he said. Their actions have been to slaughter people, to put women back in trash bags. Sullivan said that the U.S. intended to continue sending health, food, and other forms of humanitarian aid to the Afghan people. He says that other forms of aid, including economic and developmental, would depend on Taliban actions and adherence to publicity and comments. All right, look, you can read the rest of the article, but just hear me out on this. They know, before they send any of this money, where this money is going to go. Now, some people can argue, again, it's, it's for another show, another, another, its own segment. Some people think this was done by design. Other people say it's not. Regardless, 
They need to find a way to get this money into the hands of the Taliban in order to get hostages released or to make it look like that's why, whichever school of thought you're with. <clears throat> but you can't, you, Jimmy Carter showed that you can't do it that way. So they're going to do it under the guise of aid, which may, some people are saying that's exactly why the protection was pulled from the people before the military was pulled, before the people were removed who were supposed to be coming to America, who were legally allowed to be here. That it was done by design. That, that's its own show. That's its own topic. But what do you guys think? I, I think it's obvious, but let me know what do you guys think about the, the likelihood that this is actually about paying a ransom or to appear to pay a ransom in a way that won't anger the average dunderhead listening to Drake or Kim Kardashian or something equally stupid. Let me know what you think. Thank you, friends. Good night. God bless.